Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Today, we're about to see what happens when you let a mentally unhinged man go undercover in a prison for 60 days. That's right. Sure, goes undercover in this jail for 60 days to try to get intel for the sheriffs. I, I don't really know how it all works. It sounds like a ridiculous premise to me. But this guy that they have featured, you're going to see here that this man just should not have any part in this program. I think there might be something that causes him to actually end up in jail for real later on in life because there's something definitely not right with him. His name's Robert, and without <laughs> so Robert's taking his first steps into this new section where he's basically going to be spending the next 60 days of his life being this undercover guy in jail, which just sounds so cool. And so you realize they hired this absolute idiot to do it. He walks in and the first thing he says in this super tense environment where everyone's eyes are on you trying to figure out, you know, a read on you. He's like, hey, you guys get NFL Network out here. <laughs> I'd love to watch them throw the little pigskin around. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, that's not how you start things off. Just already demanding what they're going to watch and asking for control of the remote in this only entertainment that they have inside this jail. But moving on, it, it gets much worse, trust me. So yeah, this place is super overcrowded. They pretty much make him sit down in the corner of the room here. That's where his new bed is going to be for the time being. And pretty much everybody in this cell block is already suspicious of this dude. They don't know that this show is being filmed, obviously, but he already seems like just a total op to them. Anyways, let's watch this guy continue to self-destruct. They just kept grilling me every minute detail. And my story, I did not say it in such a manner which was believable. So this is the first of many mess ups that this guy has. He has this backstory that a &E gave him that he is supposed to tell, you know, pretty much cut and dry every time someone says, hey, what got you in here? Because everyone is going to be asking what landed you in jail when you go to jail. At least that's what I understand from watching all these content creators that were ex felons on YouTube. I don't know why, but I've been in that YouTube hole before. I've been told a lot of what goes down and basically they're just checking for what they call his papers right now. And obviously nobody's going to believe you when you just say, yeah, I, I just ran a red light and they, you know, put me in cuffs i woke up the next day i was here i just don't know what's happening man you got to have a better backstory than that dude everyone's already suspicious of you and now they definitely think you're a cop i don't fear many of these guys <laughs> so day one like hour one they're already thinking this dude's a cop and instead of him being afraid like the average person should be he's acting all cocky behind the camera like i'm actually totally not scared of these guys jail is actually not an issue and this is a common theme with this idiot he really just thinks that jail is the non-scariest place ever and he is just so hard that he's gonna make it through anything but really he can be in some very dangerous situations if he continues on here and now i'm gonna show a clip of him in this bible study which they do weekly i guess or maybe even daily in this cell block. And this is kind of the start of where this guy really starts to show his lack of mental stability. As he kind of gets fixated on this one really weird topic that keeps taking them out of the discussion of this Bible study. I don't think you're a child. You guys are better than child. You guys are all better to me because I know what. You guys are going to go out and make the world a better place. Child worse you guys are That's better. <laughs> so yeah he has a real fixation on uh what i'm gonna call creeps you, you know what the word obviously was you can see the subtitles but i can't say it in this video and he brings up the concept of these creeps existing and how terrible they are which i agree dude it's not like i'm disagreeing with you there obviously they are legit the worst people in the world but you don't gotta bring this up while everyone's just discussing something entirely different trying to keep things peaceful it just shows if anything people are gonna be like why is this guy so defensive about this like, is he one of them himself? I I'm really weirded out by this dude right now. And to make things worse, he declines holding hands with them, which I'm sure is just a group thing that allows them to trust each other more. And when he just puts his hands together like this, and he's like, no, don't touch me, guys. Don't touch me. That just isolates him further. So at this point, pretty much everyone in the cell block wants to hand one to Robert and pretty much beat the crap out of him at the next chance they get. They were very suspicious of me. They think I'm uh, the police officer. I want to get across that, hey, I'm an inmate like you guys. I'm not a police officer. <laughs> so here's where things get very funny. Uh, he claims in this interview that, you know, he was having some 200 IQ chess moves right now and knew that they all thought he was a cop. So to prove himself, he was going to cover up and tamper with the camera that is pretty much being used to keep an eye on all these inmates, which obviously is a big offense. You don't want to be doing that in jail. And while he may act like this was all his plan, I seriously think at this point, this guy was just scared to death and about to crap his pants thinking of all these people that wanted to cause, you know, bodily harm 
to him. So he was like, okay, what's the one way I can get sent out of here into a cell on my own? Yeah, I'm just gonna cover these cameras. And then he acts all dumb when the cop comes by. And then he's like, wait, I shouldn't have done that. Was that a bad idea? Watch this. Was that a good choice? No. The rule you broke of placing something on a camera or tampering with our cameras is a very serious rule. Yeah, yeah. So as a result, he gets to pretty much spend the rest of his time undercover, apparently, in solitary confinement. So I'm not sure how the officers that are in charge of this program see this as being a positive thing at all. He's in here to get information, and now he's just going to be going crazy inside the solitary confinement chamber, which, by the way, yes, he definitely starts to lose it at this point. And it's why I keep saying he is pretty mentally unhinged. Let's watch his slow descent into madness while he's stuck in this solitary confinement chamber. It's like an all-inclusification. Some people call the whole I call the meditation retreat one day I like to spend my honeymoon in solitary confinement <laughs> and maybe I shouldn't be laughing because this just shows you know how inhumane solitary confinement can be and how crazy it can make people go but it says earlier before they show these clips that this guy has been in here for a week and he's already absolutely mental he's like this is a five-star spa if you ask me I've been able to meditate in here all day <laughs> also just someone smiling through this little window pane no matter what they're saying they're going to look like a freaking maniac so I'm understanding that but really this guy is actually crazy thank you buddy no problem. The food here is so good. I mean, really, whoever is that culinary French chef in the kitchen? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I watch a clip of this dude, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Do you guys agree with me that while he may be undercover right now and didn't actually go to jail, he just seems like the type of guy that will be doing something in the future that lands him in the slammer for a couple years. I don't know. It just, he gives me a weird vibe for sure. I don't know if that's rude to say about someone. It probably is, but screw it. He's on TV. He asked for this. So before they're able to let him back into the general population, they have him talk to this therapist and this whole conversation is entirely insane as well. Check it out. I read, and I usually uh, like to work out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm single, so I have to wait till I get married before I let myself go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the entire time he's just talking about how much he loved being alone, and it's just been so great, and he's been able to grow so much as a person. And I would say anybody who's been locked up like that for a month at this point by themselves, which I'm sure it wasn't actually a month, they're just saying that for the show, probably was like a, a week max, if that. But if someone says that they enjoyed that, they're just crazy at that point. <laughs> He had to have been bored out of his mind, but apparently the therapist said, yep, those responses were A-OK -okay to me. He's good to go back to general population. And this is where Robert starts to truly freak out again as he's understanding that he might actually have to go back into that room with those people who all hate his guts and think that he's a cop. He literally had a look of fear in his eyes. I'm disappointed. I love it here. You can see maybe in his mind him coming up with an idea of why he couldn't go back to general population. So yeah, after being told that, Robert's mind starts to race and he thinks, how can I possibly get out of this? I mean, I did sign up to be on this show and that is kind of the whole premise is that I'm supposed to be in here talking with inmates. But after my first day here, I messed up so bad that I had to pretty much get myself rescued out of there by going to solitary. What am I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'll just fake a stomach ache. Like I'm a second grader that doesn't wanna go to school. So after this whole acting charade of him actually having a stomach issue, he gets sent off to the hospital and after four hours of being admitted to the hospital, he decided, all right, that's enough time. They think I, you know, probably got some help. I'll just let myself out of this hospital and be done with this show. So if you didn't think he was already useless enough, they at least brought him back for an interview afterwards so they could hope to salvage, you know, one piece of information. That way it would make all the time and money and logistics into making this happen worth it. So let's see that post interview now and just see how Robert felt. I'm sure he's going to say, you know what? It was a lot harder than I thought. And it was pretty scary in there because that's how he acted. It was easier than I thought. Well, that was this cotton candy cream puff situation. Oh, absolutely. It's no big deal. I thought it was a reward. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst type of dude, man. I, he's just the type of guy that thinks he's so tough and above everything and that he can just simply talk his way out of it. But dude, we just saw you totally freeze up on camera and get so scared that you wimped out of the entire program by faking a tummy ache. It clearly wasn't a whole cotton candy situation like you said. Just admit it. It was scary and above your pay grade, dude. You would not make it in jail. And he continues his annoying rhetoric of him really loving the isolation, which also could not possibly be true. I'm sure he was actually going mental in there and really just wanted to get the heck out. 
So then finally in wrapping it up, the guy who's in charge of this program asks Robert, how are we literally having to take you to the hospital yesterday? And now today you're all fine and dandy acting like this was a fun experience. Like, wasn't your stomach hurting so bad? Just look at this response. He really does not think through any of his lies. The power of pain meds. So they gave you pain meds for constipation? What pain medications are you on? No comment, but it's not, it's, it's not crystal. <laughs> that was the worst, most awkward, possibly incriminating response that he could ever give in that room right there. This guy is just so off base. Robert, you might be the worst contestant possible for this show, but I gotta say, you made it worth watching. I've never personally seen this series. Let me know if I should watch more of it, if it all is this crazy. So as always, I'll see you all in my next video. And until then, peace out.